What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be doing air dribble everything. Teaching you guys how to do the setup to scoring. Everything in between as well. Don't worry about that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the video. All right, we are in training here for the first part of the video. And in this part of the video, I will mainly be going over uh, how your car kind of moves in the air and the buttons, inputs, whatever you want to call them to make your car do certain things. And first off, I use, uh, if we go into the settings here, it's different for everyone, but I suggest uh, getting really good with a sensitivity. Doesn't matter whose, doesn't matter where you got it from, unless it is actually really horrible. But you uh, aim for a cross, I believe it's called a cross uh, dead zone. That's what this is, I believe. So that's up to you. Uh, I wouldn't copy this. This is kind of a. Uh, uh, it's it was Rise's uh, sensitivities. I just really liked uh, how he played, so it's like, eh, we're not copy his senses. But the main thing we want to focus on is our air roll, which for me is L1, and our air roll are two directionals. I only use one directional. I have both bound because I want to learn the other one someday, but that's not happening anytime soon. But essentially, our air roll right is what I use primarily, which is my square. So on Xbox, I'd be, I believe, the X button. Or in, I don't know what it is for KBM because you can have anything. But for me, it's square. So that is what I will be focusing on today. If you use the other directional, it's just inverse of what I said. So main thing, little tidbit here, is how our car moves into the air. There, If you use your directional, there is kind of a a set animation that the car goes in so if i put my uh and you can see my controller overlay on the left here uh i can put my stick about top left corner i hit square it does that top right it does this bottom left does that bottom right it does this if i put in the center does the little funny tornado spin other way it does just the reverse tornado spin i don't know what that's called anymore but it had a name, I'm pretty sure. And that's what we want to focus on for this first part here. Is what ways our car reacts, especially when you jump off the wall. Because I know after so many like hours that I just have to press a button a certain way. And I have a pretty good setup. So for me, that setup looks like this. See how my car is already facing uh, forward? I just use my square. And a little bit of my directional and boom it's already there so that's after a lot a lot of hours of understanding how the car works and where to jump off and all that so if we understand that part of it it makes the rest of the the shot so much easier because if you do this hold on bad one take it the wall here Car's already on it. It's a little off, but you know, it's still a decent air dribble. But the main thing is that you want to focus on when you kind of pop off the wall and turn your car for the first touch, right? Old two tap uh, pinch air dribble, right? That gets past defenders, funny enough. That does. I've seen it before. But yeah. That's, that's your main thing, that's what I want to go over in this first section here. And let's get on to the second section. In this part two, I was going to do a uh, custom training, but I've decided to go back into regular training here. Main main packs that you can use to really understand how to do the shot is Walder Air Dribble here. Jake RL Air and Wall Dribbles here. And I believe it was this one code right here as well so if you're interested in learning the air dribble a little bit more than just what i'm going over this is how you do it and especially on console if you don't have access to uh custom maps like uh, workshop maps that i'll go over later uh these are <laughs> this is your best bet but back into regular training here we want to go over two air dribble setups here and the first air dribble setup here is the regular wall to air dribble now this one, you hit the ball at the wall, you hit the ball up, 
and then you kind of just follow it in in simple terms right to add a little more detail to it you got to match the speed of the ball with your car right for a good setup that's what you kind of do so if the ball is going around this speed you hit it up boom you catch it and then you can not score the open net because uh because why not right and the other setup is ground off your car whatever to air dribble which i'll go over the top of the car air dribble because it's a lot more useful and a lot less predictable still predictable but a lot less predictable than ground air dribble because ground air dribble, yeah air dribble is the same as on top of your car air dribble in my eyes at least but to simply simplify it a little bit we want to match the speed of the car or the ball with the car we can double jump here we can turn our car in a way that we can get a control touch and we can air dribble it into the net now this may work in plat diamond maybe even champ but as soon as you get to the higher ranks you're gonna want to add more uh turns more control into the ball and that comes with time that comes with understanding your car and your aerial car control in itself right which is can take a long time but main thing here take the ball to the wall ball off the wall even that little bit of uh change that would get past a decent level defender right go to straight path and then turn it a little bit gets past him and that's Mainly where I use my boost is in the second half of the, uh, I guess, second half of the play. In the way to get the ball around the opponent, right? Because if I go up and I use, like, 60 boost to get to the ball and, like, continue the air dribble and I have, like, let's say I don't have under, let's say I have, like, 90 and I have another, like, a, only 20 extra boost, how am I going to get the ball from, like, here into the net without, like, using all 20 boosts and then taking forever to get back uh, on rotations. So what you can do is you go up, you just use your momentum of the car, a little bit of boost, control, bang, you turn, you turn again, and then boom. You speed it up last second, it's harder to read. Now, the second setup that I wanted to teach you guys here real quick is the on top of the car air dribble. Now this one, for some reason, is a little bit harder for more people, just because you already have to know how to dribble, which, at this day and age, there's so many dribble-like tutorials out there that it shouldn't be that big of a deal anymore. But the main thing you want to learn is how to kind of control the ball and use your car's momentum to get a good pop on the ball. And as you can see here, I'm kind of maintaining in the middle of the ball here, because that way I have more of a, a chance to line up with the ball, if that makes sense. You line it up in the center, you pop it up, and all you have to do is follow the ball, right? Simplest of setups. And it's really dangerous because in ones especially, if you see someone dribbling the ball, that means they can go high, they can actually go low again if they're good enough, or, you know, they can just learn how to double jump. Hit the ball and go for an air dribble, right? Or go for a bump, not an air dribble. <laughs> air cringe is what I call it. But it's it's actually a really good move. You hit it up, and then you go for the demo. Or the bump, or whatever. Any way that can give you a uh, an advantage over your opponent, especially a defender, is uh, well-deserved, I guess. <laughs> Right here, we get on top of our car again. We match with momentum and just speed. And then we just double jump. Main thing here, just watch your momentum, watch your speed. And you should be able to do the same thing as you do in the air, just on the ground. Those were the two things. And as I suggested for console, you want to use your packs here. One, two, there's like six different ones, but I suggest the... Uh, like the first are here, Seabell. Seabell even has one. So, Seabell has one. You guys can have 
as many as you want and there's probably other codes out there that have uh, better packs but it's right here in the game and you don't have to go that far but on to section number three of the video in section three here of the video or part three of the video whatever you want to call it we are on a map called eversex olympics 2 and this is mainly for my uh pc people so if you're on console i'm sorry about this but it is if you have the opportunity do get a pc for this game it it it's like i don't know world shifting or whatever but on this map here we have a whole air dribble section now i can't do anything past a level eight very well but it goes over like the basics right this that's level seven by the way but right here it has a little pad you can practice your air dribbles here like you can practice your control control touches and it keeps getting further and further away so right here mediocre control touch but we can feather our boost and we can 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 continue and keep it going right here we have a bounce pad again this one the ring is a little farther so i would use this bounce pad here to continue it and boom onto level three or level four this is where it's important to understand how to dribble and uh air dribble like pop if that makes sense the thing i was just explaining because you have one here right i'm just messing it up for content but you get it there and use the bounce pad boom controlled all five is a little well tougher because you have to use at least i use a little bit of wave dash i jump and then i use a wave dash here continue keep it going camera angle might get a little wacky so just live with it now we have an air dribble here it bounces up and now we can continue and control our air dribble again make it through the rings now level six here is a little different you can get to that the second one there and you can air dribble all the way up there the rings very top of your screen but this one here is less of a uh an air dribble and more of a uh you just understand where to hit the bounce pads <laughs> Control touch, pop it up, boom. 07 is a little more, you wanna practice hitting the ball up. Like this is a height thing where you have to just keep popping it up, popping it up, and popping it up. And just as you can see, I'm like not even close. So this is where my utilization of my square comes in and my air roll, sometimes a little too much. And we, <laughs> we diverge over there a little bit. But essentially, level 7, you go up, you keep trying to aim up. And then if you're tired enough, you can just spam our <laughs> top of the D-pad and get to level 8. Level 8 is kind of the same thing. Kind of just want to practice hitting it into, or not into, through the red lasers here. And boom next is the other lasers and if your card touches the lasers it counts as well so i'd go over this one but i don't know what nine has in store nor ten and i haven't done them before so i can't give you uh, any explanation for them so this is where i go for my little air dribble training if you're on pc there's of course other maps there's the lethemir map and there's other challenge maps but I suggest this one at least for the first like five levels because that's where you understand the basics and then you can get into the more fancy level six plus of uh air dribbles now we're back in free play for the fourth and final part and the last little bit of information i'm going to give you guys here in part four is i'd say pretty vital and like like when to go for it and when not to main thing when not to go for it is of course when you're like low boost it doesn't really make sense to try and aim and score the ball especially if you have low boost unless you're like pretty close to the goal like i am here that's like the only time i would suggest going for it if you're trying to make a play then do whatever right if you have enough boost do whatever you want your play to be go practice it 
in free play training uh custom maps against your friends if you do that or like in casual matches i would say not until you're comfortable with it in those scenarios do you try it in ranked right and i'm and i'm not saying never ever do it in ranked because you know there's good times to go for an interval if you're given the opportunity in ranked go for it but if you like care and you want to get better also go for it it's the whole thing about this game is mentality and uh like understanding if that makes sense like if i'm given if this is a 1v2 right now. I'm going to try and take space. I'm going to try and pop this mid, get a shot on goal, either or. Or go for the air double bump, right? <laughs> Many things. Also, if you can, if you're in free play like I am, try and, like, make real game situations for yourself. Like... If this ball is mid and you say, oh, you're the defender, so you clear it to the side wall, and then you take it for an air dribble. Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be whatever I just did. Like, as long as you practice, like, in-game situations, not like with the most realistic outcome, but as long as you say, oh, the ball is here, oh, I'm the defender now, boom, practice the clear. Like, also very useful. Or, and then boom, I'm on offense, and then a boom, I'm on defense. When I'm on offense again, bang. But actually, I'm on defense. I practice my recovery and I clear it. And then, oh, I'm on offense again because the ball is to the wall. And then I practice, like, anything, right? If you can do that, I'm sure that you can use it in any situation, right? But that's all I got for you today. If you want a uh, flip reset uh, tutorial or anything, do let me know. And if you want... Any coaching for me specifically about your actual like games and stuff and if you want to improve I have a uh, Fiverr link down below or if you want to support the channel directly I do offer coaching as a tier 2 uh, membership thing so yeah if you guys did enjoy the video uh, please like subscribe it really does mean the world to me and I'll see you in the next one peace